Hey everybody, this is the LEGO City Sky Police Air Base set. And this set is marketed towards kids aged as young as six. Six! So one step beyond, basically, the juniors range. I think that's really, really, really important context to keep in mind when you're looking at this. This plane, for instance, is not intended to meet the desires and needs of adult collectors or teens or 12 or even 11 year olds not to say that anyone in those older age ranges should not be able to enjoy this you can enjoy whatever you want but you know the context is really key and i think that uh, the set is doing a pretty good job as we look at it of presenting something that is going to be enjoyable for younger kids i personally don't like the placement of the landing gear on this I personally feel that that uh, that canopy piece that's been used for years ought to be retired by now just because it's been used a lot but it's still fine and they have extended it you know they've, they've gone beyond just the six wide design here they've gone out to an eight wide build for the main fuselage I think that the engines look a little bit weird the way that they go through the wings and they're intended to be turbo fans here but I mean who cares it's it's a big airplane. It's a nice big airplane. Let me get a figure in here. Yeah, good size. And one of the major things that I always want to look at with an airplane is what can it do? What can it hold? What have they done for cargo or passenger capacity here? Well, unfortunately, you can't open up the top of this. You can open up the cockpit. That's a very very basic cockpit. But at least it does have a console at the front. It's a printed piece. But none of this up here opens up. Instead, it opens on the underside only. It's got a little, little latch to pop that open, like so. And that's because this is intended to drop something. Specifically, what it's intended to drop is a person with a parachute. So this is new. This whole setup, let's focus on this for a minute. It's a little bit difficult to see these clear bits. This is just a, uh, a pair of these clear vinyl style parts that you pop out of a big old clear sheet and you just fold it up and just lock the ends into this thin but pretty durable feeling fiber, fiber plastic based material for this parachute. You can see right through it bit there kind of feels good feels like it's gonna last doesn't feel like it's gonna tear easily uh, I was very happy with the apparent durability of this thing when I opened it up and this was pretty easy to put together and doesn't feel like it's gonna get all tied up too too easily you know it's not gonna get all twisted up too easily so we'll take a look at the figures more closely a little bit later on but the idea here is that you just Pack all this up, and you don't have to be too careful about it. Pack it all up, stuff it in there with the person, and then you just close that up. And there you go. You're ready to send out a parachuter. I guess I should put this back on, but it's a pretty simple thing. And when you're ready to drop the person, you just do like this. Oops, which way? This, this way. Yeah, and they they fall out. See how this parachute actually works though. Trying it out just by itself, dropping it from a height of about seven feet, it looks pretty perfect in the way that it works. The chute spreads open, catches the air very nicely. It's actually very reliable. Uh, had very few failed drops where it just wasn't able to open up all the way before it hit the ground. Yeah, this actually seems like it's working pretty well. So you look at it in real time and realize that hmm, you're not really able to enjoy watching a person parachuting down from the sky. It just drops. I also tried dropping it from a bit higher, around 8 feet, and I tried tossing it up in the air to more like 9 feet or so, maybe 10. And no matter what, it just falls to the earth very quickly. So if me reaching as high as I can, dropping it very nicely, all already unpacked and ready to go, doesn't work so well, I can guarantee that 
a small child <laughs> packing up the parachute and skydiver in the plane and opening it up is not going to get much parachuting enjoyment out of it as it very quickly heads to the ground. Now the set is called Sky Police Air Base and this is the air base here. It's really not much of an air base to be honest, but that's okay. It's, it's just a name. Look at this as what it is. It's a control tower to go with your plane and there's also a jail cell to go with it because it's Sky Police. Eh, you're having a little bit of fun with it. I actually, personally, not putting myself into kid mode, I like the look of this control tower. I like the shape of it. It's obviously a simple build, but I think it's kind of cool. And there's a little rack here in the middle as I basically just tried to create a little bit of separation from the control tower uh, over to the, the jail cell. Jail cell has a single bar door here. And looking at it around the back, well, the cell itself is super simple looks very uncomfortable i mean i guess you don't have to carry you don't have to care too much about the comfort of really really evil criminals uh the lower level of the base has about as much as you could ask for in that small space with a reception desk i guess they could be seen as a a spot for uh for taking calls you know for dispatch as well and they got the the coffee maker over there where's the coffee mug though can't have a coffee maker and no coffee mug in a Lego City set? No worries. This guy's got it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Next up, in the middle, is a jetpack. A deployable jetpack. This is this level is where I would have expected uh, accessories to be. You know, minifigure accessories to be held. An armory or something like that. This is close enough. This is a pack that will go over the neck of a minifigure, you put it on and then you spread these wings out and then you go flying. Let's go ahead and take our our coffee dude here, coffee mug dude. Just put this on him. I'm not even going to put the helmet on him. Just like that. Look at that. He's a cool dude now. Look at that. He just flies around with his, with his coffee mug and his walkie-talkie. I like that. I think that's fun. It's a small thing and it's just cool. Uses a new piece that we're going to see very soon. Same piece that's used to hold the whole bracket and the whole uh, pack for the, the parachute to get hooked up. And then at the very top, you have the actual control tower, you know, actual air traffic control space. Getting some light in there. You can see that the person has two main screens in front of them. Keyboard. You got a screen over here. Showing a live feed from some camera. And then you got a little screen over here showing some traffic patterns. And, uh, you know, evidently radar is in effect. And, yeah, it, I mean, again, for the amount of space that's used here, this, I feel, gives enough tools for a kid to to get into the imaginative play and to, to role play as the person sitting in this seat going around looking at the different displays and thinking about different things that would show up so no no problems here and up on the roof you just have this communication dish which you can rotate around and you can make it go up and down a lot of these will only go in one direction on one axis this one has two axes so cool in this set the police also get a motorcycle which is pretty basic just has one single spot to attach a minifig accessory to the back of it you know, put the handcuffs on there so you know you can catch somebody uh, if it's a if it's a sky-based criminal you can catch them when they come back down to the ground or you can use this to chase down a car such as this criminal's car that's included in this set wow that's dusty there, that's a little bit better. This is just the most basic style of Lego City car. It doesn't even have a roof. Uh, you just put a figure directly in there. There is a, a steering wheel, a hook on the back, so that can be used to presumably, you know, break into banks and ATMs and stuff. Or, you know, a jail cell. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. I think it looks better than a lot of the cars have in in the past decade or so that have used the same basic style. I like these wheels. They're just 
Yeah, they just make more sense for a street car than the more off-road style ones that they had done for quite a while. And the stripe goes through there. You know, it's, it's just a car, but it's fine. These new figures here are indeed all new. Nice, bright, uh, it's called a light royal blue color. I believe it's basically like a, a lighter version of medium blue. Not a new color, but still a cool color. These do have identical torso prints, so I'm not going to take the bracket off the one on the left. Notice the helmets have no chin strap area to them, and they have these new visors as well, which are nice and rounded. And yet, even though they are rounded, they're still able to be rotated up. That's pretty cool. And the breathing apparatus section with the, with the tube on the right there is brand new. Fits very well with that, that style of, of helmet. Yeah, this is just really good stuff. I like this a lot. And then on the left, you can see the new bracket to hold on to a parachute or whatever you want. You know, it's the same one that's also used for the jet pack that I showed you. And again, the torso print underneath on the left is the same as the one that you see on the right. So yeah, this is just really good stuff. I like these. These are probably my favorite things in the entire set here. Just these figures and their accessories. No alternate faces for either of those, but uh, there's that guy's main face. Yeah. And then here are a couple of ground-based police officers. You saw the guy on the left getting all set up with the jetpack. He, he looks great, though. I like the torso print there. I like both of these torso prints. And the cap is nice. Uh, yeah, you know, they're just, they're just police folks. And I think they look good. <laughs> it's a strange alternate face for a police person there on the right. Uh, she's intended to be the biker cop, you know, hence the inclusion of just a regular motorcycle helmet there. But yeah, these are fine. And then here are the criminals. Uh, I don't know which one is supposed to drive the car, but you would think that they would get a change of clothes or something before trying to drive away. But I, Lego just went all in with the, the prison uniforms. Typically they show a little bit of prison uniform underneath. Now it is unfortunate on the ones that I got that this one here on the left has poor printing for the, the legs like and the hip there just I just messed up a little bit but these are really really bad looking bad guys i like the hair pieces the inclusions of those but gosh could they have made them look any more evil and bad i mean i guess they could have had actual literal fire coming out of their eyes but i think they got as close as they could within safety regulations so for a set that's designed for kids six and up which is pretty young i think this is pretty fun i like most of it uh unfortunately the the biggest draw of this as far as i see is the parachute and though it is designed very well and as toy parachute systems go it is very good uh, it's still not good enough to me it wouldn't have made me happy, happy enough as a kid for someone who, you know, who really wanted to see that nice floating action, you know, of a parachute or just floating to the ground. And that's, that's really not Lego's fault. They did the best they could. This is one of the better acting, more consistent working parachute systems that I personally have had my hands on ever. I, as a kid, had a, a parachuting thing. Uh, that was far less durable than this, and it didn't work as well as this. I have a, a friend, an adult friend, who not too many years ago put a good amount of effort into mixing together different toy and model items to create a, a parachuting figure setup, and uh, it's, it's just not easy to do. Physics are not in your favor at all, so I applaud the designer or designers of this, they did well. It, it just it just still doesn't do it. The the parachute system doesn't doesn't work as well as I would like to see. Either me as an adult today, or me remembering exactly what it felt like to be a kid wanting to have something parachuting. But beyond that, uh, everything everything works, including the parachute. It does work. It just you know follows quickly. 
uh, would have been nice to be able to do some more different things with the with the plane like if they had some way to open it up from the top just lock the bottom of it so you could use it for more standard cargo that definitely would have been a major plus all of this i originally thought with my adult based prejudice when i first saw these i originally thought that this was really lame but it's actually not as long as you don't get caught up on the name of the set you know saying sky base you don't get caught up on this being this year's police headquarters you know you see it for what it is for what it is i think it's good and again for kids six and up one thing is bad though and it's really bad and that's the price i have to say it because i it, it's how i feel it's a 529 piece set and it does have some larger than normal pieces for sure so i would not expect a 10 cent price to part ratio i would not expect 11 12 what is it oh gosh 17 cents ah that's really rough 17 cents per part even forgetting about that just looking at the volume of stuff that i get here for 90 dollars I just don't see it. I would like to see this sold for a maximum of $75 US. And then, you know, if you wait a little while, see it come down to 70, I I can see that for the volume of stuff that you get here relative to other Lego sets. And considering the fact that there is a, a fair amount of play value here for the amount of stuff, uh, I think that would, that would work out okay. 70, yes. 90, no. Well, if you like speed builds, be sure to check out my speed build channel. It's linked from the end of this video and also from the pinned comment and from my main channel page. I did a build for this set and you can find it. It is online already. At the end of that build process, I had these pieces left over as spares. I'm very glad that the breathing apparatus piece is included amongst those spares, although they didn't have a spare of the new style of visor, just one of the old, and most of the rest of the stuff is pretty straightforward, just basic little pieces. That is it for this review though, so I'm going to move on. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you again soon.